Anyone remembering this iconic scene from Back to the Future might wonder, what could something as seemingly simple as food delivery look like 50 years from now? Just peek over to China. Their food delivery company, Meituan, is making all kinds of, honestly, quite spectacular deliveries. For example, using drones, which arrive at pre-built destinations where customers can grab their delivery. One of these systems is set up in a local park so that people can enjoy some nature as well as a quick delivery meal. Or check out their adorable little autonomous cars that started cruising around public streets last February. A lot of the company is built around automation, and they even explored some retail opportunities. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Honda, the company that calls itself the mobility company, is behind this rather unusual device. Aiming to help people with walking and crouching, the developers at Honda created these devices and later tested them in their factories. Weighing in at only 6.5 kilograms, they offered support for around two hours. As you can tell by the video quality, this invention counts some 10 years already. And as with many such inventions, it sort of fell under the radar at some point. Honda, however, continued their research on walking, which also contributed to the development of their own little mascot, the robot Asimo. Think you've got what it takes to defuse a bomb? If just the thought of it makes your fingers tingle with fear and adrenaline, maybe it's better to leave the job to a machine with nerves of, well, literal steel. Meant to work alongside soldiers in dangerous areas, the FLIR Packbot comes as a family of devices, all meant to explore ground, open suspicious packages, taking photos and so on. When deployed, the manipulator arm can carry with it plenty of different hazmat sensors and grip objects up to 44 pounds. And for tricky terrain, its so-called flippers can rotate 360 degrees. Talking about navigating terrain, to ensure it doesn't lose connection behind obstacles, it has a smaller robot following it to relay signals. However, despite all this, not everyone is a fan of this high-tech helper. Just ask this dog. Remember Star Wars. We may not have flying cars just yet, but when it comes to bionic hands, the reality is catching up. Apparently, this model here is so advanced, users can not only grip a raw egg without cracking it, they even feel the touch like it's coming from their own missing hand. But how does it work? The secret lies in connecting the bionic hand right to the user's actual bones, nerves and muscles, developed through the groundbreaking work of Professor Max Ortiz Catalan. This way, when the new hand touches something, artificial sensors can notify the person's actual nerves. Seeing this, it's clear why many people are no longer very happy with traditional sleeve prosthetics. By the way, scientists, for example in Massachusetts, are already experimenting with growing fake limbs in a lab, calling it a bio-limb. Could this be the next step on the topic? Five hundred square meters of roaring fire and temperatures of 800 degrees Celsius. If that doesn't sound bad enough, mind the fact that this was happening 70 meters above ground. Here, firefighting drones really get to shine. In this case, which was thankfully a planned fire drill, they were able to break glass facades and put out fires outside as well as inside the burning building, even during strong winds. During that process, they carry up to 50 kilograms and are tethered to a fire truck. That's how they get the steady supply of water to suppress the fire. Built by the same company, some models can also perform water rescue, in which case it looks like the drone delivers a flotation assistance to the victim. The Zephyr will never have to worry about getting stuck in any aerial traffic simply because no other vehicle flies that high. At 60,000 feet, it is the highest flying unmanned vehicle there is. Its unique design isn't just for show. The Zephyr's standout feature is that it can fly for months without ever landing, powered entirely by solar energy. The solar panels naturally are spread across its wings. During the day, it charges both its primary and secondary batteries, which then power the plane throughout the night. During its flight, it takes incredibly sharp pictures from above and communicates to stations nearby. The owners, only recently, showed interest to offer Zephyr as a tower in the sky for a Japanese company. 
meaning that this strange-looking plane will be responsible for offering 5G. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets. And if you want to check out some actual space tech, click on the screen for the next video.